We watched AEW Rampage January 21st, 2022. John Moxley versus Ethan Page. First observation, yes, John Moxley has gotten in, in tremendous shape. I think if it went back over his years in WWE. You may find sometimes he was leaner and maybe more cut. I don't think so. But he was also skinnier then. Now he's big and lean. So he looks awesome. And Ethan is, of course, a tank. And I love this match for a couple of reasons. First of all, for the most part, it was just one giant brawl. There was like one spot where they did a couple, uh, take two su suplexes, duck one, but then take the third anyway, and then they went to a finish. But mostly of this fought in the ring. They fought out of the ring. They had a big slap fest. The other reason is because they had very contrasting styles. Ethan Page, even though he's a bigger dude, had a much prettier technique. And he's throwing these roundhouse kicks and these jumping kicks, and they're very, they're, they're, they're graceful and elegant. And then there's John Moxley, who's many things, but I would not call him graceful or elegant. He's just an animal. And well, I, there's many ways to describe elegance, Vinny. Mm -hmm. There's an elegant violence to John Moxley. I suppose. Yes. I suppose. But eventually he takes, uh, gets Ethan down in the crucifix, and I forget which, it was like 20 years ago, there was, this is the finish to an MMA fight, but he gets him in a crucifix, but instead of going for the cradle, he lays in simultaneous knees and elbows to the head while having both arms trapped so he can't defend himself. And Ethan goes glassy-eyed and appears out anyway, but then Moxley locks in the bulldog choke for good measure. And Ethan's out. Moxley wins. Then after the match, for some reason, Ethan tried to start some shit, and so Mox dropped him on his head for good measure. Yeah, this was uh, much longer than I expected. I did not think that they were going to go 10 minutes. I thought Moxley was going to come in and just destroy this dude. But at the end of the day, I had no problem with it because the guy's been gone for three months. And realistically, a guy gone three months, I mean, they even told the story that, you know, whatever you want to believe, there is such a thing as ring rust, and it takes a while to get back into ring shape, and you can do all of the bike, I think they mentioned stationary bike, uh, all of the bike riding that you want, but uh, it's not like being in the ring, so it took the man 10 minutes to beat Ethan Page. He still beat him, but it took him a while, and he'll get his sea legs under him. And next time, it probably won't take as long. I liked the match. I thought it was good. Yeah, I thought John was going to run through him. Like, I I even told my son, I said, this isn't going longer than three minutes. And then it did. <laughs> Liar. Yeah. I hope he I learned lied. to listen to you. Yeah, I hope not. Just like I told him the GCW main event was going to be awesome. I guess you're going anyway. to review that show. <laughs> yeah, how, did you watch this show? Yeah, well, most of it. Somebody on the on the I have not seen any of it. I'm just reading the chat here. Somebody said it was his first GCW show, and it was one of the worst shows you've ever seen. Wow. What did you think? Uh, the good was good, and the bad was really bad. Mm. What was yeah. really bad? Well, number one, the timing of the show was. Uh, I don't know who was laying it out, but somebody went long. I've I've heard that it was Leo Rush and Blake Christensen. But um, I don't want to dump on the promotion. They they had a good. How long does Blake Christian and Leo Rush need to go? Well, you know they do do everything at a million miles an hour, so uh, <laughs> so it should be quick. That would you you would think that, huh? Huh. But um, yeah, they the main event suffered because it went maybe six minutes. Who wow. was in the main uh, event? It was uh, it was the Briscoes. And the team that they ended up taking on was uh, Matt Tremont and uh, uh, Nick Gage. So Moxley didn't get his time cut. No, Mox that Moxley match was fantastic. Okay, that was so good. So um, I can see the Briscoes and uh, Gage and this Tremont fella. They should probably get more than six minutes. Yeah, they it, they went off the air so quick. Yeah, I mean it was like flash pin boom. Um, I would have. I was expecting a bloodbath. There was none of that. There was some doors broken, but uh, we're way off topic on uh, Rampage. We got a lot of time here, dude. That's true. That and Moxie true. was on the show. Yeah, the tie-in. Sure. And yeah, so go out of your go out of your way to see Moxley and Homicide. It was very good. It, um, I was. It it should be on a, a New Japan Strong show. It was that good. Well, speaking of Moxley, after he beats uh, Ethan Page here. He goes to leave through the crowd, as he always does, but who should be waiting for him but Brian Danielson, who sarcastically applauds for him, and Mox stares him down, and Mox walks away, and Danielson has a sly little grin. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here, so I guess we wait and see. 
Well, they were going to meet in the tournament. Yeah, they were. But when they were going to meet in the tournament, like, you know, I think that uh, I still believe that Moxie was going to turn heel. And maybe Brian Danielson wasn't going to turn heel if he wasn't facing Hangman. But he was, so he did. So right. the question was, is he going to come back as just like a baby face again now that that feud's over? But Moxley's clearly does not appear to be turning heel imminently. No sign. So maybe Danielson will just remain a heel and uh, and do that feud together. But when he was out there smiling and, you know, it was a little bit of a sarcastic clap, but he, he smiled and everything like that. So I guess we shall see. But I'm fine with that being a pay-per-view match. I'll mm-hmm. plunk down my cash. That sounds good. That yeah, sounds it, good. it looks to me like Danielson's going dirty like he has been for a while. So I'm fine with that. I love heel Daniel Bryan. Hey, girl. How was your New Year's? Oh, it was so much fun. Brooks and I put our boots on, and we did a little Texas two-step. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not like that. Daddy, these girls are so ew. Um, who are you? I'm Wendy Chu. And why are you looking at me like a ham sandwich? Wendy who? Ham sandwich? (laughs) Wendy Chu? Then it ends. Bro, that was like easily a thousand times better than what they did. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.